Hey guys, this is Cassidy. This is Kate. And we're going to be your Gamecock guides today as we take you on a virtual tour of campus. You guys ready? Let's go! So our first stop today is going to be Fitzpatrick Hall. This is one of our freshman residence halls here on campus and we'll show you guys our The first step to get into your residence hall, you will have to have your handy dandy student ID with you. You'll come over here to this keypad. Swap your card and then you'll enter a four digit code that's specific to you. Once you enter that code, the door will be unlocked and you can go on inside. Welcome home. This is a pretty good example of one of our residence halls here at JSU and the kind of the setup behind it all. You can go to our housing website, um, our housing page of our website, and then you can check out a listing of all of our different residence halls that we have, and you can see virtual tours of them all too. So don't feel like you're missing out. So this is a pretty standard setup though. As I was saying, you will get all the furniture that you see in here, such as the desk. Um, you'll get the beds. These are lofted, so you can lower them down. Um, you'll get the wardrobes and the dressers as well. So don't worry about storage. We've got you covered on that and you have some options. Um, as far as things that you can bring to add to the room, you are allowed to have a microwave in here as well as a mini fridge. So mac and cheese cup lovers rejoice, you can still have those. Um, also, you are allowed to have a TV because we do offer complimentary cable as well as Wi-Fi in every single one of our residence halls across campus. Um, another thing too is who are you going to be watching Netflix with late at night? Let's talk about roommates. So when you're choosing your roommate, you do have some options. If you know somebody that you would want to share a room with, then you are more than welcome to list each other on your housing request form and we'll pair you up. However, if you don't and you're flying solo, then you can go on our website and fill out kind of our housing um, roommate request application. It's kind of like eHarmony for roommates. So you go on and answer a lot of questions about yourself, be a morning person, not owl, and they try to get a feel for your personality. Once they get a feel for that, they'll actually match you up with somebody based on your answers. That way, you're not just being paired with someone blindly and you'll hopefully be friends for the next four years in college. Um, but if you guys have any further questions, you can contact our housing offices and they will be more than happy to help you out. But if you guys are ready, we can go ahead and head on to the next stop. Okay, so before we get too far away, I want to direct your attention down to the end of this road here. You can see that building with the triangle on top. That is Saul's Hall, and that is home to our University Police Department. So just like any other university, we do have our own on-campus police that are patrolling our campus 24 hours every day of the week. We also have Jacksonville City Police Department, Cal County Sheriff's Office, and a state trooper post right here in Jacksonville as well. So there's all kinds of departments that are working around our campus to keep us safe. Parking is also something that's controlled by the University Police Department. Here at JSU, there's four different colored zones, and you're going to be assigned to one of those depending on your relation to campus, whether you're faculty, commuter, or you live on campus. And to get a parking decal is just $25 for the entire year. So there's not a large investment involved in purchasing a parking decal. And then you can park in those assigned spots between 8 and 4.30, Monday through Friday. On the weekends when we have games, you're free to park wherever. If you have any other questions, you can visit the police section of our University Police Department where they post their stats. But as of right now, let's go look at some fun stuff. Come on, you guys. Okay, you guys, so down here we do have our Burgess Snow Field at um, Gamecock Stadium. So this is going to be a great place to come on game days. We do it real big down here on Saturdays in the South. Um, JSU's football team is actually fantastic. One really cool thing about our sports here at JSU is that you actually get into every single home sporting event for absolutely free as long as you have your student ID with you. So there's no printing special tickets, um, there's no raffles or anything that you're going to be entered into. As long as you have this, you are welcome to come into our games, including some of our playoff games that we have here too. So be sure that you come out and support our Gamecocks because we have a lot of fun. Over here, we're gonna have Bob and Lou Kinnamer Hall. This is where all of our student athletes work out here on campus. So they have their own specialized equipment and routines that they'll do in there. And then if you aren't a student athlete, then you're gonna be working out right over here in our Recreation and Fitness Center. So let's go inside. Welcome. Welcome to our Recreation and Fitness Facility here at JSU. We have so much for our students to do here and it's a great way to pass your time. 
So first off, we are going to talk about our big rock wall. This is actually the tallest, um, second tallest collegiate rock wall in the whole entire state. Um, but we're also going to have all the equipment that you need to rock climb as well. So your harness, your rock wall shoes, everything like that can be obtained from our friendly staff at the front desk. So we'll keep on going through. Our rec center is awesome though. Our students have really enjoyed it. It actually opened up in the spring of 2019. So we've gotten a lot of use out of it since then and we have a lot of fun here. There's always something going on at the rec. You'll notice we have different workout studios. This is studio one, which is our cycle studio. We have the Peak Cafe. This is a great place to come chill out, get you a snack or your coffee because we do have Starbucks products here. And it is meal plan friendly. So you are allowed to use those flex dollars. If you're someone who likes to work out your thumbs more than your actual body, or both, then this is a great place to come and hang out. This is our video game lounge or TV lounge. Whether you want to watch TV, just chill out, play some video games with your friends, it's a great place to come. This is one of my personal favorite places. If you're trying to come play ping pong, you can do that. Or you'll notice through these huge windows, we have several pools as well. So this big pool is actually temperature controlled and it is our indoor pool. The lanes are in the back for endurance swimming. We have the recreation area to the side. And we do have a whirlpool in the very front, which is like a vortex. It spins you around and it's a lot of fun. Um, technically that is there for the resistance swimming or if you're having a bad day, you can let it just bob you around a little bit and I promise it's gonna make your day better. Also, there is a raised tile portion in the very back. That's actually going to be a hot tub. So if you guys wanna chill out even further, that's a great place to go. And then outside, we do have a separate outdoor pool as well with the patio area and everything. It's great and for those summer months where it's really hot and you need to cool off. Also, if you'll follow me this way, you'll see our Adventure Recreation Center. So this is a really cool program that we have here at JSU for our students who like to get outdoors and get active. So if you are into hiking, biking, camping, anything like that, they can set you up with tour guides to take you out to different places in the area. Or if you want a solo adventure, they can even get you your own equipment to go out to those places like backpacks, kayaks, enos and hammocks and all kinds of good stuff. So that's right over here at ARC. If you like to play basketball or volleyball, this is the place for you. We have three courts going all the way across, all with basketball and volleyball capabilities. And as you guys can see, if there's multiple games going on at once, we do have these big dividers that can be pulled down to separate your games so that balls aren't falling into each other's courts. If you guys follow me, we'll show you around some more. In our upstairs area, we actually have a state-of-the-art cardio area, complete with all kinds of fitness machines, um, workout machines, there's rowing machines, and all kinds. On this side of the rec, we're going to also have our free weights facility. So if you are into weightlifting or anything like that, we have you covered with all the equipment you could ever need. Um, as well as Studio 2 that we have right here behind me. This is great for a lot of our free drop-in fitness classes that we have and offer here at JSU, such as yoga, Zumba, Pound, TRX training, and something for everyone. These classes do come with no commitment at all, so if you just want to come, maybe you're feeling stressed during finals, want to take some yoga classes, get your namaste on. But there is no commitment, so you don't have to come back or sign up for anything. But that's in here. So this building is Stevenson Hall. If you are interested in kinesiology or exercise science and wellness, this is gonna be your home. They have some awesome specialized programs and this actually used to be our university's rec center. So a lot of the spaces that they have available are still specialized for the kind of um, education that exercise science majors would be. That's right over here. Over here, you guys can actually see one of our university emergency poles. If you ever feel like you're in danger for any reason at all, you can go up to one of these, press a button, and you're going to be immediately connected to our University Police Department. So welcome to the Theron Montgomery Student Commons building. This is actually the very first floor of the Theron Montgomery Student Commons building, but we here just call it the TMB for short. We're very, very big on acronyms here. College students are very busy, so we like to shorten words as much as possible. So down here, as you can see, this is where we have our university print shop. So this is where we have student workers and faculty workers that are completing the orders for any university student or faculty or department um, in this shop right here. You can see a list of the services they offer 
and you can even print 24 hours a day on these machines down here. If you want to decorate your dorm room, we have a Kodak machine as well for you to print out little pictures that you can hang up on your wall. So this is 24-7, a facility that we offer for our students here at JSU. And there's three more floors too. Lots of good stuff located in this building. So you're gonna see these bulletin boards located all across the TMB as well. And this is where students can hang flyers so let you know sort of what's going on on campus. We are heading towards the end of the semester right now. So you don't see as much up there, but in the fall, be looking for this to be totally covered so you wouldn't be able to see the white behind it. So welcome to the most popular floor of the TMB. You can sort of scan around here. Boom, she teleported. So this is where we have most of the fun stuff that's located in this building. Right over here, this is where we have the university bookstore. So this is where you can get any kind of textbooks, gear, um, candy, mugs, stickers, decals, anything you name it, you can get right here in this store. And then behind me, this is the best part about being a college student because this is where you get food. So JSU, as of right now, we have about 10 eating options, and this is where only three of them are located. So this isn't even half of the amount that we have offered to our students. This is where we have Chick-fil-A, we have Main Bowl, and we have Freshens as well. And these are all flex dollar options. So flex dollars kind of work like a cash equivalent. If you have 10 flex dollars and you eat at Chick-fil-A for five, then you'll have five flex dollars left. Meal swipes are kind of like an entry voucher into our um, buffet and diner options. So if you have 10 and you eat our cafeteria, you'll leave with nine flex dollar options as well. I mean meal swipes. If you want to see a complete breakdown of our meal plans, that's also on our website. And then we'll detail each plan that we have to offer, which there is four. Let's go up to the next floor. So this is the third floor of the Fair Montgomery building. If you want to see what's behind these doors, it's a very dark room. <laughs> and this is where we have our TMB auditorium. So this is where we have lots of different student events that happen in this room. We have Emerging Leaders Day that sometimes takes place in here, SGA meetings, Student Senate, um, Freshman Forum, etc. All these are part of the Dean of Students office, which is actually right above us. So we're gonna go up there in a little bit. So you get to see the office where most of these are housed. So behind us, in this area, this is where we have the Academic Center for Excellence, which we call ACE, another acronym here at JSU. And this is where we have our tutoring service. So we do offer tutoring services that are totally free for JSU students, as well as a job opportunity for students that are really good at a certain subject. You can get paid to tutor other students as well. So just check with them if you have any hard classes that you're worried about making through this semester, and they'll be glad to help you out. Next floor. So welcome to the very top floor of the Theron Montgomery building and this is where we have two more important areas of campus. One of them is right here in the Dean of Students office. So in the Dean of Students office you can see these glass plaques kind of highlight some of the stuff that's housed here. But primarily the Dean of Students office is in charge of every single organization on campus which there is over a hundred of them. So there's plenty of ways that you can get involved. And if there isn't one, you can actually start your own right here in this office as well. If you come back here, you can see, and already tell what this is, this is the mail center for the university. So we do offer a free mail system for our students that live on campus. And this is where you can get any type of mail, care packages, Amazon Student Prime packages, anything like that, you can check here. And it is a free service, but you do have to sign up for it once you move into campus. And you'll have the same code and the same box number all the way through your four years here at JSU. So it's very convenient. All right, let's go out here. So on this side of me, you can see Bib Graves Hall. This is kind of like our own little personal castle here on campus, and it's going to be your one-stop shop for everything administrative-wise that you need. So our housing office is going to be in here, financial aid with scholarships, um, housing, everything that you can think of, pretty much going to be right in here. 
They are fantastic and they do have an open door policy from 8 to 4.30 every Monday through Friday. So you don't even have to have an appointment to come and meet with them. You just come right on and they will let you right on in and help you out with whatever you may need. Now, on this side, we have a lot of other cool stuff too. So this really tall building is actually our library. So the Houston Cole Library is the tallest academic building in the state of Alabama at 13 stories tall, including our basement. We do have over 800,000 titles in there, but it is a little bit more than just a library. We're also gonna have group study floors, a conference hall in there. We're gonna have our very own cafe called Jasmine's, once again, meal plan friendly, and all kinds of cool stuff. It's also the best place on campus to go play hide and go seek. But that's our library. Beside that, you're gonna see two twin brick buildings. Um, that's gonna be Martin and McGee Halls. These are gonna be two of our science buildings here on campus. So mostly for our natural and physical sciences, such as chemistry, anatomy, biology, and all of that good stuff. Behind that, we are gonna have Wallace Hall. This is our former School of Nursing and Health Professions and Wellness. However, that has recently moved. So down 21, Highway 21 that is, um, right beside Walmart, we do have a facility called JSU RMC. That is actually a former hospital that was gifted to the university and now our nursing students are getting to go learn over there in an environment that's a lot like their future career field. So that's one cool thing that JSU has to offer. And then behind Wallace Hall, there's another brick building that's gonna be called Row Hall and it's gonna be our building for military science as well as ROTC. So there's all kinds of fun toys in that one as well. They actually have their very own repelling tower and then they're also gonna have their very own rifle range. And we are one of the only schools in the country to be allowed to have a rifle range right here on campus with us. But that's some of our academic buildings. If you have questions about any of these, feel free to check out our website and learn more about them through their specific department pages. But we'll move on. While we're next to the bell, let's go ahead and talk about this. This is our Centennial Celebration Bell and it was actually gifted to us. And every convocation that we have, which is where freshmen come in to kind of be initiated into JSU for the first time, we will ring the bell to symbolize them coming into the university. And every time that there is a graduation, we'll ring the bell again to symbolize the end of their journey and then moving forward into the next part of their lives. So that's one really cool tradition that we have at JSU. It's also the best place to get a picture on campus as well if you ever come and visit in person. So make sure you stop there and get a selfie. Oh, and while you do your selfie, make sure that you're throwing up your Fear the Big Sun, too. So as we're coming up to this other area of campus that's past the things that Kate just mentioned, there's going to be some stuff that we can't actually see from right here, but they're equally as important. Um, primarily, there's academic buildings that are back there on the end of North Campus. One of those is Brewer Hall. Brewer Hall is home to the School of Human Services and Social Sciences. So if any of you like criminal justice shows, forensics investigation shows, then that is where you can actually practice that stuff in real life. That's also where we have political science and social work as well, two of our really good well-developed programs here at JSU. There's another building that's next to Brewer Hall. It's actually the lack of a building. This is where we're rebuilding our School of Business and Industry. So business is one of our popular majors here at JSU and the former building was actually destroyed by a tornado that we had in March two years ago. So we are coming up on the two year anniversary of that right now. Um, if you are, today is actually the anniversary, two years and uh, March 19th. So this is where we're actually rebuilding from that loss of the tornado. Uh, it's supposed to be a fantastically gorgeous building, of course, and we're shooting for 2022 for that to open up to students. There's one last building that's over there on North Campus, and it is the furthest building away. Really popular for freshmen because that's where we have English, history, literatures, and foreign language. So most majors will require you to have English and literature, literature prereqs for any of the courses that you're taking here at JSU, as well as history. So primarily freshmen are gonna have a lot of activity in Stone Center, getting those classes out of the way. There's a really fun building that you can see from right here. If you look back there, you can see that building with the white shutters and the chimney, and that is our international house here at JSU. One thing that makes JSU super unique, in the middle of rural Alabama, we have a very, very strong, diverse campus. Most of the diversity will originate from this international house. We have over 55 countries that are represented in our student body here at JSU, and 20 of those students that are from these different countries can actually apply to live in the international house 
with an American student as their roommate. This is an option for freshman housing as well as upperclassmen. So if you are interested in learning more about cultures and sharing your culture with international students, then this is a great opportunity for you to live in on campus as well. If you want more information about that, they have Instagram, Facebook, and their own page on our website as well. Let's go check out an academic building now so you guys can get a first-hand look at what our classrooms look like. So welcome to Ayers Hall. This is our information science building here on campus and they have several different departments. So the hallway that we're on right now houses engineering. Upstairs we have computer science. The hallway we're about to go down is math and then downstairs they have um, psychology. So you guys can follow me and we'll look inside of the classroom as well. One cool thing about JSU is that we do have professors who have office hours. So that means that whenever your professors aren't in class, they're still available to help you out. You can look beside their door at their little green cards, see when their office hours are, and you can either set up an appointment to come in with them, or you can just drop by and then they'll be more than happy to help you with whether it's a project, um, studying for a test, or anything at all, maybe even just to get to know you, they're more than happy to talk to you. You guys can peek in here and check it out to see kind of what our classrooms look like. As you guys can tell, our classrooms aren't super big here at JSU. Um, the biggest class that you're going to have coming in as a freshman is going to be about one, um, maybe 120 if you're like nursing business, one of our most popular majors, and then about 60 for our other majors here on campus. And most of those are going to be your prerequisites like intro to biology, intro to psychology, and stuff everybody's having to come in and take. For some of our classes, even for freshmen, we like to keep those numbers lower, so at about 20 to 30 people, especially for things like math and um, English and reading classes, just because we know if you're going to struggle, it's most likely going to be in one of those areas, so we allow you specialized help. Also, for our class sizes, they tend to drop once you get more into your specified majors, so that way you have more specialized attention, your lectures are discussion-based rather than you just being talked at in a big classroom, and you actually get to be engaged within your learning experience. That is fantastic and one of my personal favorite things about JSU, is how involved your professors actually are and how involved you get to be within your education. So down here we do have our psychology department. This is a really cool department for our students because we are going to have our very own pigeon lab down here. This is really cool. So our students here actually have the opportunity to take pigeon lab whether they're psychology majors or not. And the way this class works is at the beginning of the semester you're assigned a live pigeon and you get to train it how to peck a light to get its food. So it's super cool and a really good elective to think about if you're ever looking for one. So this is my favorite stop of the entire tour. If you look behind you, you're gonna see a couple of freshman residence options um, that are located on this side of campus. But my favorite thing to talk about is actually one you cannot see behind these buildings. This is actually where we have Self Hall that's home to both mine and Kate's major, which is communications. We have three focuses within that department, public relations, which is ours, um, digital journalism, and broadcasting. This is where we have all those academic and lecture halls, but also addition to that is fun communication things that you can participate in. One is the Chanticleer, which is our student newsletter that's written totally by students. We get to curate the content that our students read on the Chanticleer. We also have TV24, which is a local news station here in Jacksonville that is ran through equipment in that building. And then my favorite thing is WLJS. That is our campus radio station, one of the few collegiate campus radio stations in the state of Alabama. This is where any student can have their own radio show. Uh, I know me and Kay have both done radio shows in the past, so we are living examples of of how fun that is and how you can get involved regardless of major if you're a sports major you can talk about sports you can have a talk show there's all kinds of things that you can do on WLJS and it is totally free and a really cool thing to put on your resume so definitely check that out tune in to 919 FM to hear our students on the air and this is just a few things that myself and Cassidy have been involved with if you're looking to get involved on campus we have something for everyone whether you're interested in Greek life, we do have great fraternities and sororities here on campus. Um, we also have great clubs and organizations, whether it's Student Democrats, Student Republicans, Board Game Club, Harry Potter Club, you name it, we've got it. And if you don't see what we're looking for, you can start your own. If you're ever trying to catch the Gamecock Express, you can stop by one of these benches and they come all over the place all the time. You can track their schedule on the MyJSU app and the Gamecock Express will actually come and pick you up. 
Okay, so let's talk about a few more things. This really tall building is Spartman Hall, and it's gonna be one of our upperclassmen residence halls here all on campus. Um, the way this one is set up is it's Jack and Jill style. So you have your own room and living space, your roommate has their own room and living space, and then the only thing you share is a bathroom that joins your rooms in the middle. So that's the way that this one is. After your freshman year, if you decide that you do wanna live on campus with us, this is a really great option. It was actually just renovated in 2017 too, so it's really, really nice on campus. Down here, you can see a little building that looks kind of like a brick house. That's actually gonna be home to our counseling services here at JSU. So we understand that college can be stressful and there's a lot going on for a lot of our students sometimes. So we do have 24 hour services. So if you ever need a little bit of encouragement, they are the place to go. While we are also trying to get your mind right, we have places to get your body right as well. So if you are sick or have any kind of illness, you can head to our student health center. That's going to be at the JSU RMC that we talked about a little bit earlier, and their services are actually free to students as far as a copay is concerned. So that's a great place to go to. Mind, body, fitness, we got you all covered in that aspect. Um, down here at the very end, too, you can see Mason Hall. Half of this building is going to be dedicated to our family and consumer science department, so things like fashion, cooking, dietetics, early childhood development, where we even have our own daycare. And then the other side is actually going to be home to our music department. So if you are interested in marching southerners here on campus, music, any of our fabulous choirs like gospel choir, show choir, anything like that, this is going to be your home. Um, also, this building right behind us, this is going to be Ramona Wood Hall. And this building is home to our education majors here on campus. So if you are interested in elementary education, secondary education, or special education, this is going to be your building. All right, we can go ahead and move along. So as we're walking in here, please scan and admire the scenery. This is our quad. Every university has their own quad. This one is ours, and this is where we have different events, um, farmers markets, blood drives, fall fests, all kinds of cool stuff right here on the green of our campus. We also have the back of Viv Graves right here, the back of Ramona Wood behind us, just so you can sort of figure out where you are geographically. And directly in front of us, this is where we have Doggett Hall. So Doggett Hall is actually where we have some important academic offices like Veterans Affairs and Disability Support Services. If you need to talk to any of them, they have their own website online and they also have a telephone number and email addresses as well in Doggett Hall. And then probably loop back around to the best part of campus again. This is where we have more food. This is actually my favorite place to eat on campus and this is Jack Hopper Dining Hall. And this is where we have a total buffet of all kinds of different food areas that you can think of. Dessert, pizza, pasta, soup, salad, deli, international, etc. You can think of it and name it, then it is in here in Jack Hopper Dining Hall. Next to that is where we have WOW. And WOW stands for World of Wings, another acronym. And this is the late night eating option on campus. So if you are studying to like 11 at night and you are really craving some mozzarella sticks or wings or chili cheese fries then feel free to come to wow because they'll be open until midnight so they will be there to support you in your late night snack habit and then one last thing academic buildings again caddy corner to bib graves these are our art buildings art is a really well-developed major in jsu that i don't think it's enough praise they offer so many scholarships um, they have an art gallery for our art students here and they just are really celebrated here on our campus graphic design ceramics photography you name it we have those majors for all of you artsy creative people who are hoping to be the next leonardo da vinci um, and paint something really really great it's not something that I can do, so I definitely admire the people who are able to do stuff like that. And that is where we have those buildings right here in Carlisle and Anders Hall, which we call the Round House. So that's pretty much it as far as our campus We made it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching with us today and checking out our campus. Um, if you guys have any more questions or want to get some more specifics, feel free to either reach out to us at info at jsu.edu or you can check out our website at just jsu.edu and you can check out any of our departments, any of our different offices that we have here on campus and they will be more than happy to talk with you guys. Thank you guys so much though and once again, go Gamecocks! <laughs>